five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. I mean, NASA is attached to it. Who doesn't want to like participate or work with uh, something NASA related? I already like had been to several hackathons and I thought space apps was like the perfect combination of like the cutting edge software development and the APIs out there connecting to, you know, like the next grand frontier, which is space. So it's really exciting. I feel really happy, proud of myself that I decided to come, wake up at 6.30 to get here and hack all day. I feel really proud that I'm doing this and I'm only like 10. We've had the good fortune of getting a diverse range of skill sets on our team as well as age ranges. We have a high school student who's coding our front end and we've got some very experienced software engineers. There's so many diverse groups of people that come here with like their own mindsets. So I feel that's perfect with space because there's so much to discover. Just because you're young doesn't mean that you have less ability than others. Even though you may feel like you have less potential because you're younger, it doesn't mean that you're not capable of the same things. I have a lot of kids in my school that say, oh, I just get in the way because I don't know how to code. But the point of coming to hackathons is learning that you won't be in the way and learning that you can code. I went to space camp when I was a kid. I uh, have been into NASA and space. I saw a shuttle launch when I was a kid. Um, so it was really cool for, for me to be here and, and see the stuff that folks are working on. People can come here with virtually no programming experience or haven't seen any line of code before. And you gotta realize that it's not really about coding as it is about just an it's really great hub for ideas and entrepreneurship. If you have a great idea, come here and see what you can do. Go get up, hack. It's really fun.